This game I thought was rather good. It's a first person shooter. And uh, it works really well. I found no problem with aiming. It's pretty solid. And it's uh, the sense of space, the scale of this place is really good too. It works. Sort of wasteland industrial sort of place with your normal sort of strange aliens attacking you. It's cool. It's really nicely done. Very nice. Music was nice as well. The only thing I found was the alien. Sometimes the, I thought the enemies were a little bit... They were a bit like quick to come upon you. There was no warning, no grunts. Maybe a few grunts or sounds to give, their, give them away. Just say you're forewarned and you, you realise. That's about all though. But yeah, it's... It's much better than it was before. It was uh, it used the um, depth of field, and it, it it ruined the image quality a lot. And the collectibles with map were quite big and static. It actually looked like they were part of the scenery, when in actual fact I didn't even know there were collectibles until I actually did, accidentally bumped into one. But yeah, this is pretty good, pretty good. Well worth a play. But it's more than pretty good, it's excellent. I don't know where he's gonna go with this. But uh, everything works as it should. Nice atmosphere. Nice cityscape. And this is pretty low on thermo as far if I recall correctly, is only used <coughs> a few assets. Yeah, see, like there, I knew that was there, and I knew it was going to come out. But only because I'd played it prior to this. This playthrough. Nice use of lighting as well, coming through there, look. Onto this place here. You could argue that the enemies, you know, you, you can see the enemies quite a long way off. Yeah, I'd, I'd lower those collectibles down a fraction more, I think. So that you get the sense you're walking through them and have a nice collection sound. Well, a, a beefier collection sound. You know, a satisfying sound of collection. I mean, the, the best game that's ever done, well, in my opinion, the game that's done a collection sound the best is Ratchet and Clank with the bolts. That was such a satisfying sound. It's like getting a payout on the bandit every time you collected some. And I, I reckon that's probably part of the reason they did it the way they did. That sound of metal. Of lots of metal falling into a tray. And they captured that. Which is obviously why it felt so rewarding. But yeah... That's something to consider, I think. Sound effects. They're important. But as you can see, this is solid. Open the portal. And that's basically it for the level. I'm assuming that something will happen beyond the portal because it, it just basically ends. And rather than show you the end screen, I pause and finish prior to the end screen. Just makes it neater, that's all. The next one. I, I, sh I started on the opening screen because I thought it was well made. And I'm not sure the character isn't quite complete yet. It tends to float a bit. Look, there's no walking animation. It floats a bit. It's basically just the sculpture that I was impressed with. The environment is created with the lighting and the colours. It's solid. It's only two very small environments. This environment and a, and a, uh, and a but, uh, up the uh, tower. And then that's it really. But it's excellent. I mean look at that. That's well crafted isn't it. I go down there because I figure I wonder 
at some point whether you're going to empty that water out. There's a crank up top. But like I said, he's only got this creature floating around. It doesn't seem to have any animations. It doesn't seem to have any prompts to pull levers. There is a lever at the top, which I assumed would do that, but I couldn't pull it. Work in progress, you know. But I think this is a, a creator worth following, as Scary Biscuit is prior to this. Yeah, you see, everything is quite immediate. Just touch the ladder and you're up the top. But I liked it, just because of the distance. It's got trees in the distance, it's got stars. I mean, when you've got stars that are level with the plane you're on, that immediately makes you feel high, doesn't it? When you've got rooftops. It's, it, it's, it's overlooked a little bit, I think. But if you want to create the sense of height, then what you need to do is also add things in the background that that uh, indicate that you're that high. If you can see the tops of rooftops, then obviously you're high. If you can see stars, then obviously you're high. If the clouds are right in front of you, these are all indications that you're high. And he's pulled this off really well. Really well. See, there's the switch. I can see the switch there, and I try my hardest to see if I can get something to happen. I can hear that creaking. I assume that would fall at some point, and I could collect it. But, I don't know. I may have overlooked something. I don't think I did. I just think this is work in progress, and he'll proceed with it and add things later. But I was just well impressed. You see, you come down that. Those ladders, and you're back in the house again. But, Early stages, I would imagine. But, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. I like the shadows as well. The use of light. I thought maybe there. I'll go back up here again. I'm determined to see if there is something I'm missing. But, at the end of the day, I don't think there is. I'm looking forward to seeing where this one goes, though. I've followed the, the creator. I can see the potential. Big potential, I think. Just needs a better character, I think. Now, this one I thought was simple, but it had a feeling about it. We see dark corridors, we see the doors, and forebodings brought in with darkness. This one. It's slightly different in that the foreboding, for some unknown reason, is brought in by brightness. If you notice what I'm, you'll see what I mean in a minute. The brightness creates the foreboding. It's not a comforting yellow, is it? It's quite. It's a burning yellow. It's it's a scorching yellow. It's a it's a harsh. You would think you're going to burn yourself on that. It's not a nice yellow it doesn't feel nice or at least it doesn't feel nice in the location it's in the way it's placed and I do like this as well when you walk through this glass you hear the smashing sound very nice I just thought it was interesting that he's created foreboding with light rather than darkness there's the, this is that la, la, yellow again do you see what I mean it's an interesting idea. I picked this hammer up and don't realise I'm supposed to use it on that wall and go wandering off behind me to see if I've missed something. Being watched is also a good a good thing, isn't it? To create that sense of dread. Who's watching us? Why am I being watched? Who am I that they are watching me? Have I done something? Or are they afraid I'm going to do something? But yeah, these two things, these two, uh, these particular windows, or lights, I thought was exceptionally well done. Simple, but it's the colour he's picked. That's an odd, lo this is an odd little location as well, with the chequered wall. That was so odd. That threw me out a bit because I thought it was, it, it reminded me of a, a toilet or something like that along those lines. Yeah, you see. A breakthrough. And it, it it basically ends once you get out of here. 
Now we're in what you would consider the underbelly. Not so pristine, not so clean, not so bright. And we're out into the open. And it ends just there. But again, I'll be interested to see where it goes. And this is Bob Talks. You've all seen this level before. But it's the different level. Well, you've seen this game before, but it's a different level. This is uh, a botanical garden like setting. I, I couldn't quite work out what I was meant to do. So I contacted him on Twitter, and evidently it's not really finishable. It's just another location to explore. At some point, he is going to create. A game from it I think he hasn't decided what type of game yet I don't think either all I know is it's a wonderful creation he, he Bob Tox creates fantastic atmosphere he used to be a little big planeter I thought when I first saw him that he had to be a developer I was convinced well, no it's just a determined creator. And that's all it takes, isn't it, really? Never to give up. I go wandering off a few... I, I, would, I just would increase this light a little bit, you know. I don't think it helped me much in that location. I do do a bit of cutting here and there because I spent a heck of a long time wandering around this location. Couldn't quite figure out what that square circle and uh, X was because X makes you basically um, jump, I think. I thought it might be a combination. Yeah, then I wander in from a different direction. The same location I was going to come in that night. Wait, but I cut out a big chunk. I had about 18 minutes of footage. And I wasn't going to put 18 minutes of footage in a short. That defies the description. Short, doesn't it? I like the sound effect is used for this as well. Almost like a jet engine. This was a nice bit of animation. Nice. It felt chunky. You felt like it was pushing weight. It, everything about it worked perfectly. Then back into this area and on to the puzzle. You'll see me cut midway through the puzzle. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guess why. Basically, I spent 10 minutes trying to figure this out. And I thought, I'm not going to let people watch 10 minutes of me solving this puzzle. I'm sure there's a method to it. I'm absolutely certain there's a method to it. But I couldn't find that method. So I uh, edited it just to make it less painful for you all to watch and embarrassing for me to experience. So yeah look see let's just say I did it that quickly eh? and I've done with it. And that good I did it that fast. It's a bit of a dark location so I'm hoping that filter helps me. Isn't it a beautiful environment now? If you do go and play this, start at level 1 though. If you've never played it before, obviously if you have played it, just play this level. But if you've never played this, go and play it. Bob Tox. Egg. Bot. It's an awesome creation. 
Yeah, I took a bit. I looked there and I thought, shall, where shall I take? I'll uh, where shall I take the screenshot? Shall I take the screenshot over here? Saying welcome. Oh, now it's too dark here. Where shall I take this dumb? I don't know. Let's have a bit of a wander around. Where should I take this thumb? What about that? Has that got good colours? Well, that's got some purple there. Yeah, that'll do. I'll take the thumb here. Let's put the door to one side, bring him up a little bit. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in another one.